members of the CC Empire. It's been a long time since I've made an announcement like this. Just talk to you directly. And I want to make it clear before I get into this. This isn't a lore video. It's not a part of the of series of the videos I've done recently. It's just me talking to all of you like it used to be. The last time I made one of these videos was one year ago on this very day, the day the Infinite Emperor fell from power, April 27th, 2022. Now, the reason I'm making this video, the reason I'm going back to these announcements is because I've had a realization lately. The last time I came to this realization, I also made a video about it. But at that time, I never expanded upon it. I only used it as further reason to take control and cause further chaos. You didn't deserve that. I'll get into it. The reason that I am talking to you all and this realization that I have made is that from the beginning, from November 2021, when the CC Empire was first created, I realized I have had at least 90% of control of everything that's ever happened in this empire. I have reasons, I have facts, evidence to back that up, and many of you already know this, so why am I talking about it? Because for the some of you that don't know it, and even for the some of you that do, I have a very serious message to relay through it. So. Let's get into it. At the beginning, I decided to come up with a way for someone to become emperor, leader of the empire. I decided Una would be a fun way to do that. The people that participated in it were me, Mason and Remy. Mason won from chance. He was the one with the last few cards. He became the first emperor and I removed him from power. I enacted an election. I put myself in power using my influence to put myself into power. I then took myself out of power, got people to vote for Caleb. Caleb won. The same day that he won, I made a law to take him out of power for the day that he would be taken out. I got people to join a rebellion against him. We put this law in power. He was taken out of power. Mason was put in power for 10 minutes. For those 10 minutes, he unbanned everything Caleb had banned. I paid Garrett, his vice emperor. When Mason left, Garrett took over. I influenced Garrett to put a contract into power, a contract that many of you signed, many of you forcefully signed giving your power away to him. He then made me and Caleb emperors right next to him. The three of us ruled the empire for an extreme amount of time. After which, Yin came along. I was afraid that if I did not take charge again, he would take over. I feared that I wouldn't be able to stop him. I would have no influence when that did because he already had a substantial amount of influence in the server. So, what I chose to do was give him the power that he wanted. At the same time, I removed the three emperors from power by giving Yin a message that Garrett had sent because I asked him to send it. Yin took over successfully. He ruled the empire, and the same day that he ruled the empire for the first time, I created a ruse that I called the Mates. Group of outlaws, group of outlaws, and one of the people that joined was Remy. Remy, who was the second in command of Yin. Yin trusted Remy greatly. I labeled Yin as Butcher. While I was him, I labeled Yin as a dictator. 
I labeled Yin as a tyrannist, as someone who is selfish and only cares for himself. And the mates believed me. The mates worked with me to take him down, and Yin fell from power. The mates took over, Remy was emperor, everyone was happy, everyone was delighted, peaceful. Till I convinced Remy to give me ownership. Till I convinced Remy to give way for a contract. An imperial contract which would give me all the power in the empire. I became the infinite emperor. I ruled the empire for a total of one month. I ruled. I declared war against several servers, influenced ownership over other servers, took control of the upper class, removed roles from people. I was indispensable. In the end, I gave everyone but myself, Gianna and Yin, the role of criminal, the role of treasoner. In the end, no one was talking and I was bored, so I waited at Anime Club for the members of the server to walk in. Mason said that he was planning on destroying the thing, the contract that I purposefully left out and hid and waited for them to plot to destroy it, and then they did. They destroyed it. They took over. I enacted a plan for an election while I was in prison. Diana won such an election. And from there, the Empire went into peace. From there, after Gianna being the best leader we have ever had, was ruler. The Empire never had such an influence by me. We just had an election every single month. We went through leader after leader after leader. The Empire was never in more peace than that period of time. And then... And then I asked Gianna, and I asked Gian, and I asked Morgan, and King, and Hedia, that they would like to join me in a brand new empire to take over CC. And you know what? They agreed. It's not their fault, not entirely. It never would have happened if I hadn't asked them to. Bo took over the empire after Butcher had left. Gianna asked to be the vice president to him because that would serve our plan well. Bo agreed. And I asked him in order to keep in line with the peace the Empire had been having to give ownership to Gianna like we had done in the past few months whenever a new leader would take over. And he agreed. He did the noble and thing that he was thinking was the right thing to do. And it was. If Gianna had been a fair leader, had been thinking, not in a devious way. Again, my fault. Gianna took over and immediately put the Eternal Lords into power. Ever since the Eternal Lords have been in power. I say all of this to you because every single event in the Empire, again at least 90% of it, I enacted every horrible moment, every chaotic revelation I caused. And I realize the effect that it's had on all of you. First and foremost, Mason never deserved to be removed from power that fast. Or that quickly. He never had the chance to truly rule, except for when the Empire was silent, for when no one really cared. He didn't deserve that, and I apologize to him. Yin 
was planning on being a fair leader. He had good plans, good intentions. He even told the mates he had good intentions, but they were all overridden by me as Butcher spouting at him that he was a dictator and selfish and he was just trying to trick everyone. And all of you followed me. Most of you followed me. And Ian fell from power because he gave up. He had tried so much and the mates had restricted way too much that he couldn't even try to be a fair leader. He gave up. He said himself to me, it was just another one of the failures that he had attempted at correcting. And so I apologized to him, to Crafty Sumo, Boche. You had worked with the mates so many times. In fact, this message is just, not just to Bo, but to all of the mates as well, along with him as leader. All of you deserved so much more. And instead, when I was Infinite Emperor, after serving with you to take down Yin, I labeled you all as treasoners if you didn't surrender to me. Not just then, but as Bo was president two months ago and did the right thing to give ownership to Gianna, we took him down and the Eternal Lords took over everything that he had ever worked for. Gone. Why? I do all this. Why did I do all this is such a good question. Because I thought, why not? It's fun. It's chaotic. I love the chaos. But now that I see the true impact that it has caused, and even then I knew the impact it was causing, but I didn't care. And I could just be saying this because I'm in a low position. I'm not. I'm in the highest point of power in the empire, again, for the fifth time. And instead of relishing in my power, like I always have, I'm coming to you, all of you, because you have the power to end it. I'm asking no more. I'm asking all of the eternal lords to stand down, every single one of you. I know you like your power. It's way too easy to gain. It is so easy to convince and influence other people to run with you to gain power. And so easy to gain it and keep it. But it's also so easy to lose. What I'm offering is a peaceful solution. The Empire was in its prime, its best, when you all were in control of it. When one emperor after another would trade being leader month after month. When there wasn't scandals and chaos spreading amongst the Empire led by me. When there were actual elections so you could choose he wanted to be a leader. That's what I ask of you. I ask, revert things to how they used to be. That is my plea. As the one who caused all of this, I started this cycle of chaos. And today, same day that the Infinite Emperor was taken down one year ago, I'm asking you all to end it. I'm asking you all what I asked you a year ago. Build a better CC Empire. And don't let this happen again. Please, I implore you. And if it does happen again, that's not your fault. That is not on you. It's bound to happen. It most likely will. But if it does, I'll be ready.
because as of today, I am fully against the Eternal Lords. The very Lords I put in power, I am against all of you. If you step down, that's the noble thing. If you remain in power, that's your choice. But I will do whatever I possibly can to remove you. While well, you may have control, we are stronger together. And I will build a rebellion like I used to in the old days, same way I did with the mates, but a thousand times worse. The Eternal Lords are going to fall. If you don't leave yourself, I'll bring the whole kingdom down on you. That's a warning. It's a threat. But also, in return, I still offer the same solution to stand down. Regardless, the ending message of this is build a better empire. Prevent this from happening again. Prevent me from happening again. No more marionettes. Thank you for your time. CC Empire.